welcome back to my channel if you don't know who i am my name is reese this is my beauty channel where we come to slay especially on a budget and if you're new don't forget to hit that red button down below turning on your post notifications hashtagging reese gang in the comments down below if you are an og on my channel welcome back babe i have another video it's not about beauty this time it's gonna be more about you know what i'm doing with my life after i graduated from college with my finance degree a few of you are actually subscribed to me because of my finance journey but this is gonna be um more about what i'm doing after college after graduating with a finance degree during a whole pandemic so if you guys want to know more information about what i'm doing after graduating college and the job opportunities all the questions add and then stay tuned bye so you guys are here and you're wondering i want to major in finance i feel like it's a good lucrative career or i really love money so i want to get into it or i want to learn how to invest this is a video for you so i did have one person ask me for an update on my whole career and what i'm doing after college so life with yashika asked me a question on the community tab so she asked Hi, could you do a video on more tips and advice for finance students or how the working world is? So those are multiple questions that I'm going to answer today because I've noticed that my finance videos are actually gaining some traction. So a lot of people are just now noticing that I'm going to college for finance and I'm like, hey, I already graduated. Like, yeah, um, but I still do remember a lot of what what I learned in college and the classes I took. Little advice that can probably still help you if you are still thinking about majoring in finance. I did already explain my whole story and the reason why I did it back in my other vlog. So I'll have everything listed down below. But to sum it up, now how after graduating my life it's it's okay corona hit so the job opportunities are very very slim um but once things start getting back to normal like things are getting back to normal in the finance accounting side because you can work from home now so a lot of opportunities i've been getting callbacks to work with them but they're only contract jobs so right now i am working a contract job it's for the city of los angeles so i help people basically push through applications um for those that don't that can't afford their rent due to the pandemic so i do take on contract jobs so i'm in one right now it's a full-time at home job it is a little bit it is a little bit stressful so it is a, it's not stressful it's easy but it's really hard to stay productive but me personally i took finance for my own personal business my passion is to create content not just finance i do want to become a full-time youtuber full-time content creator open up different businesses create opportunities for other people Yeah, so finance de definitely helped me on the business side of what I'm doing. Maybe you're majoring in finance for banking and corporate finance. When I first started finance, I wanted to be in corporate, but I realized I can't do 17 hour shifts each day and really stress myself out working for someone else. So there's different finance fields. Me personally, what I fell in love with, in, with is personal finance, but with personal finance, you do have to get a certification. So what I basically did is use my personal finance skills for my business and my personal life. And I'm trying to create wealth within myself so I can be able to teach it for somebody else. That's the reason why I did finance, because I want to find the secret recipe so I can help other people thrive and invest and make sure they leave a legacy for their future kids so that's basically what i wanted to do finance for other people have different reasons why they want to do finance i think that's basically it for advice but i'm going to i made a list of things that i needed to talk about so i
is finance hard so i get a lot of questions about how if is finance hard like majoring in it me personally if you are good at algebra 2 you could get away with getting a finance degree because majority of the classes you take you do use a calculator they teach you how to use the calculator and figure out math problems yeah there's certain classes i barely even passed i'm not the straight a 5.0 type person i'm just like a average i'll get a b and i'm cool it doesn't really matter your grade point average as long as you have more than a 3.0 and get into grad school you should be fine um and mind you i was doing youtube working a part-time job and working an accounting job and going to school full-time so i was doing a lot of stuff while in school so if you are thinking about i want to do finance but i want to open up my own business you should do it while you are in school definitely if you're thinking about corporate banking and um an investment banking or anything really straightforward to finance you need to continue your education don't stop at bachelor finance isn't really something i really want to continue because i'm a very creative person so i want to leave that to someone else like i would hire like a financial advisor even though i went to school for finance i'm gonna still hire a financial advisor because they're good at their job but i'm good at my job which is creating content but at least i'll know and understand what they're talking about you know what i'm saying with finance you have to have to be involved in your clubs i was involved in my finance society club i was in the i was the social media person in in the finance club definitely be involved in the accounting or finance societies within your college that will help you a lot and put you in front of people that can you know help you get a job right after school as well as internships get an internship get a job if i didn't get an accounting job while i was in college i don't think i would be getting having this job right now so when you graduate you have that experience Third, when you do get a job in accounting or finance, they will test you. So every job that I applied for, I did have to test in advance Excel. I didn't know that, but I'm glad that I paid attention and I actually like Excel. So it was just easy for me to test 100% um, every test they give us. It's not that hard. The tests are not hard for jobs. I honestly love working contract jobs because it gives me a break it gives me some time to work on my personal business if you don't have a business or anything else you're trying to work on i don't think i don't recommend you getting contract jobs because it's kind of nerve-wracking to think that you have to apply for more jobs it's already hard to find a job especially during coronavirus i probably talked everybody's head off i try to explain everything that's what i'm currently doing right now i wish you guys the best of luck in school i know you probably just started but keep on going especially if you're majoring in finance keep going it was so hard for me but if i could do it i know you could do it because sis or bro whoever watching this you can do it just keep on going i don't regret it i learned so much and it's actually because of me majoring in finance i'm actually really doing really good organizing my finances within my personal self and my business so i can see myself being able to manage big corporations and maybe i can become a big corporation you never know i don't know but I'm really glad I did major in it and yeah, I'll probably talk to you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any more questions, definitely comment that down below. I can make a part two if anything comes up. Um, I'll have all my old videos linked down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.